What is up all my amazing subscribers and welcome back to your daily dose of Fortnite here in the Happy Park channel. I hope you guys are off in a great day as well as I am and in case you guys are not, hopefully this video does in fact cheer you guys up. Now hopping right into today's video topics, we actually have for you guys quite a few things such as tons of leaks and of course Ninja's supposed brand new map leaked with gameplay. Now guys, it is not a brand new map, but, not, but nonetheless it is in fact a creative brand new map in Fortnite Battle Royale. So, when he actually said we're getting a brand new map, well, he kind of mixed that up because it is nothing else beside from, well, a brand new creative map. So, first things up, here's the gameplay of the Ninja X Iconic Bundle Set slash uh, brand new map promotion. Not really totally sure what to call it, but that was probably the best way to describe it. It's pretty much Ninja X Iconic slash a brand new creative map that's going to be a brand new game mode. And yeah, so here you guys go. Roll the clip. Alright, so that's a very exclusive leak, and big shout out to whoever found this, and guys, just so you guys know, I know it's very bad edited, but it's a legit, an actual promotion piece. So, here you guys go in the back video, right here's actually the proof, thanks to Shinna, where they actually extracted this right from Epic Games developers website, where basically, only the developers of Epic Games, and of course, the people that make the art stuff, can only upload their stuff. So, this is confirmed to be 100% legit, that that crappy promotion video is actually real and made by one of the Epic Games devs. So, Man, they gotta do some better editing. Moving on to our next topic, a brand new helicopter has just appeared over by the water on the right side of the map. Not quite sure what's going on with these helicopters, but this is the second helicopter that has now appeared across the Fortnite Season 8 map. Not quite sure if the government's gonna be here or what's gonna be happening, but most definitely this is from Moisty Myers slash, of course, Dusty Divot. This is actually the government vehicles, so the government is coming back. Will we be seeing the meteor come back, or will something else be happening? That has to do with the gravity stones, because those are also found in the files as of lately, and all kinds of crazy stuff just like that. So, let me know in the comment section down below, what are your theories upon the government vehicle helicopters returning with Inside Season 8? Moving on, we actually have for you guys another massive leak. Now, this is actually the new in-game spectator mode, where you guys can actually spectate your friends, or of course, pro players. So, we have for you guys a brand new video for this one. Now this is very sketchy to post so I do hope you guys enjoy it and for the risk itself make sure you guys smash the like button for today's video and let's try to hit 2000 likes for this amazing leaked video. So here you guys go, roll the clip. Alright, so that's the brand new spectator mode coming to season 8 at some point. And man, that is a very good leak. The last person to do this actually got sued, so rest in peace to that person that actually posted this video originally. 
Moving on, thanks to Foratory, we have some more information upon the Renegade Raider will be purchasable as a new variant. So it says the new leaked variant of the Renegade Raider will be purchasable. The OG variant will stay exclusive. So pretty awesome stuff right there. Even more proof to back up, we will be receiving a brand new variant for the Renegade Raider. And of course, the OG players would keep their original status as an OG, you know, holder basically of that skin. So pretty awesome stuff right there. And now for our last and final topic, this one's a very important one as PewDiePie is now in the shooting range when it comes to media. If you guys don't know, a mass shooting has taken a place and over 59 people have died and many people were injured in a New Zealand mosque. Now unfortunately this person decided to say subscribe to PewDiePie after he killed 59 people and injured hundreds of people. Now that's very very bad as the media is now attacking PewDiePie with supposed ways that he's attached to this somehow. And he had nothing to do with the shooting which is just absolutely cruel, absolutely messed up and I cannot believe the media is falling for this because in this guy's actual like manifesto which is basically why he did all this stuff, what his name is and all this information as far as you know what he did and why he did it. He literally said this was a trap to trap PewDiePie to make sure that the whole media goes against PewDiePie and he somehow gets blamed for this. I think that's just so toxic and so messed up because PewDiePie literally was just in his house minding his own business and this guy just decided to say his name after doing a mass shooting and now PewDiePie is you know in the line of fire when it comes to mass media. So if you guys want to support PewDiePie make sure you guys go to his YouTube channel hit that subscribe button and of course go to his Twitter and say we are all thinking about him and we are all on his side. So as always my friends with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching the video I hope to see you guys in the next one and as always my friends stay happy and enjoy the rest of your day.